Hey, good morning, everybody. So today I'm gonna to be doing an uh, unfamiliar shape. So I was tagged by Steve Walker uh, kind of a while ago. So sorry, Steve, if you watch this for uh, getting to it so late, but uh, I'll try to leave a link to his channel in the description. He does straight razors, uh, started doing a little bit of Chevette stuff. So that's pretty, you know, eh, good for him, I guess. <laughs> Not a huge Chevette person, but anyway, I'm gonna be going with the wood. Uh, this is not unfamiliar, but this is really the only familiar thing. I just wanted something nice and, you know, consistent for this shave. And uh, I'm actually going to be using a little bit of the Slick Stick Sample too. Not that this soap truly, truly needs it, but I figure a little bit of additional slickness could not hurt for what I am about to do. So, let me just get this on a little bit. And uh, if you ever need to like do a touch up or something, um, there was one time where uh, I finished my shave, felt around, and I was like, ah, that is okay. And I rinsed my brush and everything, and then started feeling around a little bit more realized I uh, kind of missed a spot and then I was like oh, I don't want to you know remake a lather so I proceeded to just apply a little bit of the slick stick on my face rub it in um, and then I shaved on it and it worked pretty good so yeah that's an option uh, so brush for today <laughs> gonna be going with a this is a TDR uh, gorgeous handle with this uh, thing at the top of it just kidding. Uh, it's a game changer. Not too sure how big. Probably like you know, Rob bores most of his brushes to like 26, so I would assume it's a 26. So just uh, wet it right there. I'm going to get loading the soap. And um, with the instrument of my demise that I'll be using today, uh, I normally just do two passes, so I do not need a ton of soap here. Yeah, that's good enough. So I'll just take some of this excess. Don't want to waste that perfectly good proto lather. Oh, uh, yeah, also got a haircut. My haircuts tend to be pretty drastic because I like to maintain my hair at a certain length and sometimes I just kind of let it go so yeah cut my hair that was nice I decided to uh barbershops opened I think like last week or maybe uh a little bit before that but I decided to wait on getting a haircut because I heard like the first few days barbershops open, like the wait was like a couple hours, but yesterday I just walked right in. <laughs> so yeah, so I did a off camera shave yesterday with a, uh, with a DE, yeah, I know. What am I doing? But uh, actually yesterday, um, I wasn't planning on shaving because the day before I was doing a, a West Coast shaving video and when it gets released, you'll see it. But uh, I caught a, caught a little blemish right here and I was planning on not shaving. So I intentionally woke up late that day don't know what that was probably my cat so I intentionally woke up late yesterday and then looked at it and decided like ah I could shave actually so I just decided to go and shave I ended up having a really nice shave with the Tatara 
still the same NASET blade. I didn't want to change anything out. So it was a NASET on the second use. And uh, I only did two passes, just with the grain, then against the grain. And that worked pretty well. I mean, I could have done like just a small bit of cleaning up if I wanted to, but I decided against it just because it was pretty smooth already. So, well, you know, a little bit more water. But, yeah. So, I know I always like to rag on synthetics a little bit, but I mean, this lather is fantastic, so I don't, I don't dislike synthetics. I just don't prefer synthetics. I mean, if I was going to be a results based person and just use the thing that gets the job done the best, I'm not going to lie, it's really synthetic, but you know, sometimes it's not about the results about that experience but yeah so here we go uh hopefully i don't bleed but this thing likes to draw a little bit of blood from me so we'll see so yeah it's gonna be a two-passer today with the weck hair shaper so chevette style um the thing about the wax is they handle a little bit more close to a straight razor than a uh, than a typical Chevette does. I think it's due to that large blade exposure, whereas most Chevettes, you know, you really only have the edge exposed. This thing has like pretty much a full blade. Um, it's kind of reminiscent to me of like maybe like a frame back, if that makes any sense, like a frame a frame back razor. So. Yeah, gonna get going. This has a first time use Persona blade in it. Um, I did run it through some cork just to kind of help smooth it out, but uh, you know, that may or may not help. So, here we go. Just gonna use a super light touch. So the way I'm really altering my my shave right now in order to have a light touch is I'm really trying to just grip the razor just enough to uh, hold it. Yeah, dude, this thing is so sharp. Like, really, no buffing required. This, yeah. Running it through that cork is definitely helpful. And yeah, if I if I use any sort of pressure, I will be, at the very least, a little bit of weepers. So, uh, yeah. trying not to do that. But honestly, like, that's kind of getting close to DFS already with that one pass. These things are, yeah, they're, they're ridiculously sharp. Like, I love my straight razors, but, uh, you know, I could not, I could not get away with one pass with the straight, but I'm okay, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm not looking to do like a one pass shave anyway, but I don't know how anybody else feels about the first pass. Um, like if I was in a rush, I honestly might skip it. Depending on how much growth I have, obviously. But like since I do dailies, 
Um, it does grow fairly fast, but not, you know, super fast. So if I was doing like a two days or three days growth, I would definitely do a first pass, but like with a daily, if I'm in a rush, I might just do a two pass, just cross grain and then against the grain. For my neck, I might do a downstroke on the cross grain pass, but yeah, I think I could do two passes, honestly, with the amount of growth that I get. But yeah, using uh, the Leck again. Uh, so I, I talked kind of a little bit about uh, Dave Card and his technique about um, like how both of us do long strokes. And uh, using the Leck again, I kind of have a real understanding of why he does long strokes because there's really zero reason to buff with these unless you want some irritation. So I don't know if you can tell how lightly I'm trying to hold this right now, but yeah, basically just light enough to uh, move it. I'm not used to having to uh, to rinse too often. That's one of the nice things about larger razors. They do tend to hold a uh, lot of lather. Yeah. I mean... <sighs> yeah, yeah. Got my you know, little weeper right there. I'm not even trying, you know. I'm barely holding this thing. This thing is just so so sharp <laughs> yeah Cool, you know, that's only one weeper really, and then I had some some blemishes on my neck. Oh, two weepers, Jesus. Three weepers. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought I would have, uh, have an okay shave. I mean, it's not bad, but... You know, I tried to grip as lightly as possible, not use any pressure. And uh, I thought I would be okay, but looks like I still got a little bit of weepers. But really, it's not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, that's it. I am pretty much as BBS as I could possibly get. It's like kind of ridiculous how sharp this, uh, the blades in this thing are. So I definitely, definitely recommend um, running the blade through some cork and literally it's just as easy as um, like getting a cork from a, uh, a wine bottle or you know if you've got uh, any kind of whiskey that has a little bit of cork in it you just take it and then you just run the blade through it um, you know don't do the same spot you don't want to accidentally slice through your cork so what I do is I just run it through turn it run it through turn it run it through um, yeah, just give it a couple um, goes through cork and it kind of helps soften the blade up um, a little bit, but yeah.
they are they are still super sharp. <laughs> I've never um, tested how many shaves you can get out of them, so that'll be kind of interesting to see. Or uh, maybe Dave can let people know down in the comments. But um, I do really like like the way that it shaves. It's just uh, yeah, it tends to be a, just a little bit more unforgiving than a straight. I kind of put it in the category like right between straight razor and chevette like it's kind of in its own thing like it's a chevette but it's really um it really doesn't handle quite the same way like the angle that you use is pretty much a straight razor angle so uh, yeah but that was nice mostly like those little weepers have mostly stopped i got a little bit more under the chin now like I said, I swear I was using pretty much zero uh, pressure, but uh, going with the matching wood splash, because why wouldn't I want to smell awesome? But yeah, no irritation. I mean, and pretty much no burn going on. Although Peter's aftershaves, I notice tend to be particularly forgiving in that department. Like, if I get a little bit of burn with one of Peter's splashes, I know <laughs> I did. Not so great. So. Yeah, that is pretty nice. So, successful and familiar shave, I'd say. Um, Yeah, like I said, this thing, uh, you know, if you want to give it a try, um, you can typically find them for a pretty decent price. I think I got mine on eBay for about like 10, 15 bucks. And then um, I just got my, my pack of blades, uh, their Persona Hair Shaper blades. And uh, they were relatively inexpensive too. Um, you know, they're not quite as cheap as like DE blades, but they are on the relatively cheaper side. So that's the shave today. Just a uh, quick little recap. So I went with the Weck Hair Shaper. So this is a little bit different from a Sexto Blade because it's a little uh, little shorter. So the Sexto Blade's a little bit longer, probably about that long. And then, um, yeah, they all take the same blade, so. So, yeah, Weck Hair Shaper. Just uh, be careful. It is super sharp. <laughs> went with uh, the wood from Peter and went with my that darn Rob yeah this coin is like I don't have this on a um, on my brush stand unfortunately so this coin got a little jacked up but yeah and then the uh, game changer knot in there